I'm Beverly Kirk with the Global Health Policy Center here with Dr. Tom Inglesby. He is the CEO and director of the UPMC Center for Health Security and we're talking about the newly launched uh, White House Global Health Security Agenda. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. How do you see the GHS agenda benefiting um, infectious disease surveillance or programs internationally? I think it benefits the work in a number of ways. I think the first thing it does is it elevates the issues. Um, it brings attention in pl to, to programs and to people mm -hmm. who really don't get that much notice or encouragement at times. And when the White House and the World Health Organization and governments around the world are really caring about and beginning to track the work that your community is doing, I think that's gonna help everybody. And the second thing it does is it really brings political attention to the efforts. And um, there's nothing that concentrates the mind better than having an annual commitment meeting where countries come and present their work and what they're planning to do in the year ahead. And those kinds of commitments, I think, are very helpful on a political level. I think that our colleagues around the world working on these issues have the same kinds of challenges that we do. People believe their work is critically important, but often they don't receive the resources that they need. So I think this agenda really could help that, should help that. You alluded to challenges. What's going to be the biggest challenge, in your opinion, about this agenda? Um, I think the challenge will be, one of the challenges will be finding meaningful ways to track progress over the years. There's been a beginning along those lines with the announcement of the U.S. targets, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to have to work hard together as a community, both in and out of government, to come up with meaningful targets, mm -hmm. to find a way that we can track ourselves measure quality, measure improvements. Mm -hmm. That's one challenge. I think we've already alluded to one of the other challenges, which is getting resources for the work. There's a beginning to that commitment coming out of, of the Obama administration, but obviously there's gonna need to be a lot more resource put to these problems around the world because it's a very, it's a very serious set of challenges. And what can your organization and others like mm -hmm. it, along with NGOs, do in terms of helping push this agenda along? Uh, I think what we can do, our organization can uh, continue to pursue research around public health programs and preparedness, both at, uh, in the U.S. and for, for programs that are occurring here, but also in ministries of health around the world. We can work together with international organizations to try and do that work. We can speak to policymakers outside the official government mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. and give them our views, our independent views about what's working and what successes are emerging. Um, we can publish what we have and communicate it broadly, the work of other NGOs, the other academics here and elsewhere in the world. So I think there's a number of ways that we can work hand in glove with our government colleagues who are doing, kind of setting the agenda and moving it forward. Dr. Tom Inglesby, thank you. Thank you, Beverly.